Let's help us that ride. <laughs> Applause. Thunder Road has seen 39 years of it from passengers returning from their ride on this classic wooden roller coaster. After creating memories for those young and young at heart, Thunder Road will be saying goodbye to Carowinds visitors at the end of July, but not without having made its mark on the park. We started building Thunder Road in 1975, so it opened up to the public in 1976. So it's been a long time running for this coaster. It's a classic wooden coaster, um, and we're so excited for the long run that it's had, and we're looking forward to what's coming. Thunder Road was built using 539,000 feet of treated wood at a cost of $1.6 million and was originally covered in 5,500 gallons of red, white, and blue paint. The coaster races in and out of North and South Carolina, and with its dual tracks, gives riders the opportunity to participate in some friendly competition. From 1995 to 2008, one of the trains even faced backwards, adding a bit of a twist to the ride experience. Carowind says the opportunity to enjoy a final ride on Thunder Road is drawing visitors from both near and far. From Ohio, from New Jersey, for folks that have, you know, lived here in the Charlotte area or the, the Carolinas, North or South Carolina area, they wanted to come back and share those memories with families, with their children and say, hey, this was my first coaster and I want you to have that same great experience. For many park visitors, saying goodbye to Thunder Road is bittersweet. Yeah, we rode it three times, and um, I can say it's kind of sad that it's fixing to go. Yeah, it was been here a long time. I remember coming here when it first opened, riding it. When it was the best, biggest one. It's just the classic out and back. It's just a good ride. It's bumpy and it gives you good air time. And you race it in the other car. And it's just a lot of fun. I hate to see it go. I know it was one of the, almost one of the first roller coasters here. Close to. It's the first wooden one here, I think it was in 76. So uh, I haven't been on it in a while because I'm not a wooden one, but it's going away. So I thought I'd ride it last one last time just to bring some memories back when I was younger. It's probably been its benchmark when it opened up, being the uh, uh, probably tallest, tallest wooden one at, at one time. So uh, it's probably, uh, probably some sad. And Carowinds to see it go, but uh, it served its purpose, I do believe. While the ride may be going away, Carowinds is making a celebration out of Thunder Road's 39 years of service during its final weeks. Throughout this next, these next few weeks, there'll be giveaways, we'll have posters, we'll have buttons. You'll be able to take these memories home and share them for years to come. Carowinds says while Thunder Road will always be a part of the park's history, they believe the ride has paved the way for more new and exciting things that will come in the future. We want our guests to have the best experience ever. And, you know, our guests have said, okay, here's what we want and make it happen, Carowinds, and we're doing just that. So it's part of a more than $50 million multi-year expansion here at the park. Fury 325 was part of that, and what you're gonna see with the big announcement in August about what's gonna take its place is going to be huge. It's gonna be a big splash, and everybody's gonna love it. Are you guys ready to ride? Yeah! We're just excited to be a part of the Carolinas history um, and to be able to say, Thank you, Thunder Road, for all that you've done, the 39 years of rides. The nearly 40 million people have ridden this ride. And so, you know, the legacy will definitely live on.